Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun learning week. would be about the place value and value of a given number are you excited to learn about that great children when we say place value that means that is the place of where the number is and the value would tell us the meaning of that number now let us go to them one by one so that you would understand further here is place value chart how do you call it Yes, you would further understand how it is to have ones and tens if you would understand the place value chart. As you can see here, kids, we have two columns here for now because you are still in preschool. But when you go into further study, there are more places after this. Okay, this place is called the ones place. And this one is called the tens place. When you say ones, children, all the numbers that would be here are all with the value of itself there is a rule that goes with it remember that each column or each place here would just have one digit how many one digit when you say one digit or digit means number you cannot have two numbers in one place so let's take a look at this one i am going to use blocks to teach you this place value chart one Okay, that could be there also because that's in the ones place. It's still one, two, three, four, five. You count with me. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Remember, all these numbers are just with single digit or one number only. What if I would add another block here? Ooh, that becomes 10 now. Do you think I can write the number 10 here? Oh, no, 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 because number 10 has two digits already. So kids, remember, when that becomes 10, that will pile up into one line like this. It will become a one stack and will be transferred to the tens place. See, now here, we have one stack of block and this is called 10. Okay, this is one 10 now, meaning... All the numbers in the ones place are with one, 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 one. You will count it as it is. But the numbers in the tens place will be counted by tens. Okay, the value now or the meaning of the numbers here would be by ten. Okay, so when you see one here, that means one ten. When you see two, that means two tens. Let us try. Okay, let me show some more. Okay, that means one ten and one ten equals ten. Now, I will have here zero in the ones place, but we will just move on to the tens place because the ones place is just easy. Okay, so here I will have one, two, two stacks of blocks here, meaning that's 10, 20, 10 plus 10. And then we'll have two tens equals 20. So you will call it now. 20. Since we have zero in the ones place, this will just be called 20. Now let's add some more. One, two, three. Three stacks now. Now let's have one or 10, 20, 30. How many tens are there? Very good. So there are three tens, meaning that is 30. Three tens equals 30. Very good. Now let's have this one. Let's count the tens now. One, two, three, four. Now let's give the value 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, that's four tens equals 40. Very good. Is it getting clearer now, kids? Now let's have some more blocks here. One, two, three, four, five stacks of blocks. Let's give the value 10. 20, 30, 40, 50. So when you see five stacks of blocks there, that means that's 50. Five tens equals 50. 
Okay, now let's move on. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six stacks of blocks. Now let's give the value. Ten, twenty. How many tens? Yes, six. Thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Okay, six tens equals sixty. That's ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Very good. Now let's add some more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many stacks of blocks now? Very good. Seven. So let's give the value. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Wow, because 7 tenths equals 70. So easy, meaning you have 7 in the tenths place and 0 in the ones place because we didn't write anything here. If I would write 1 there, then this becomes 1. If I would write 4 here, then this becomes 4 because this means 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 only. Let's move forward. Let's have some more stacks of blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, how many stacks of blocks are there? Very good, that's eight. Let's give the value. So that's all 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Meaning eight tens equals 80. Wow, we're getting nearer. How about if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 stacks of blocks, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. It's just 9. So if we just have 9, 9 tens equals... 90. Okay, next. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Oh, there are 10 tens. Let's count them by tens now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Meaning if you have 10 tens, that means... 100. Wow. Is it clear with you now, kids? Once means one. In tens, you would have all by tens. Okay, now, let us try if you could answer this one. Hi, kids. This game is called Kinder Lessons K-12 Math Race. Here is Mr. Bear. Can you help him win the race against Mr. Rabbit? Here's how to do it. Each race consists of different questions about math topics such as colors, numbers, shapes, and many more. Mr. Turtle takes a step closer to the finish line each time you tap the right answer. And Mr. Rabbit would take a lead if you would not be able to make the right answer. If you get the right answer, Mr. Turtle would win with three stars and unlock the next stage. Kids, let us learn math while playing! And these are the steps that you should do to have this game. Number 1. Go to your Google Play Store. Number 2. Tap the search box and type Kinder Lesson K-12 Math Race. Then press enter or the small magnifying glass on your keyboard. Step 3. Click install and enjoy. Kinder Lesson K-12 was made by Fan Apple Studio. So make sure that you visit their Facebook page for more game info. Here are the stacks of blocks. Let me see if you can find out how many tens are there. Hmm, let's count. One, two, three. You can do it by counting. One, two, three. How many? Okay, that's three tens. Meaning three tens equals? Very good. So you're just going to write the three and then zero because there are no ones. So here is the zero. So we put here three tens equals 30. Great job. Now, next one. How many stacks of blocks here? Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. There are five. And if you have five tens, what would be the number? Very good again, children. You got it right. That's 50. 
Let's have some more. Yes, more examples. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four. Ooh, how many tens? Four. And what could that be? Very good. That's 40. Very great job. Okay, now, how about here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, seven tens equals what's the number? You're correct. That's 70. Hey, next. How many tens are there? Let's count. One, two. So you've got to write two. And what would be the number? You got it right. That's 20. Hey, how about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Ten tens. How many tens? Yes, ten. And what could be that number? You are absolutely correct. Ten tens equals one hundred. Yay! Now, let me see if you really had understood the lesson. Read each number and tell me how many tens are there. What is that number? What is that number? Can you read? Correct, that's 40. When you have 40, how many tens are there? Mm, yes, that's four. You got four tens. That's why you had 40, meaning there are four tens and zero ones. There are no ones. How about this number? Can you read? Yes, this is number. 80. Now, how many tens are there in number 80? Just look at this line or this place. How many? Yes, so you are correct. That's eight tens. How about the next number? How do you read this number? Correct. This is number 60. Now, how many tens are there in 60? You are really smart, children. That's six tens. 60 got six tens. How about this number? Yes, number 30. How many tens are there? Correct. You got three tens there. How about this number? Yes, 70. How many tens are there? You are correct again. You got seven tens. How about on this last one? Number 20. How many tens are there in number 20? Very good, children. So that's two tens. So, is the place value and value of tens and ones clear with you now? So if it's in the ones place, that means one, one, one. You have to count it as it is. But when it's on the tens place, all the numbers there are all by tens. So you would know how many tens are there. Is that clear with you? Wow, you are all amazing children and you did a great job today. I hope that you would always remember that children for you to get there in the coming lessons. Thank you so much for listening children. God bless you. Bye.